We have a number of ambassadors for the Range Rover Vogue. The reason we've done that, it's, it's a real departure for the brand. It really is uh, an illustration of where we're taking this brand, appealing to far more people, a more female-oriented audience, a more city-going audience, younger prospects, people that are very in touch with the world, really connected. Uh, and the way we're launching that really just reflects the lifestyle of those people. So some real notable personalities all around the world that are very interested in this car, very interested in this brand and uh, acting as ambassadors for us and helping to illustrate and show to the world how the Range Rover brand is, is developing. You know, I, I'm just loving actually driving a Range Rover. It's been my dream car forever and ever. You have no idea. So to actually be driving one and to be involved with Range Rover as a brand, I think is amazing. Like, they're so good to work for. Really, really fun and Ladies and gentlemen, the Range Rover Evo. Well, this is the this is the first time in live tour of Vogue has ever seen been seen in uh, Australia. It's going to make its public debut on Friday in the Melbourne Auto Show. So we've got a sneak preview here. Five door version of what was originally made. Tell us about the coupe. It was the original uh, concept car. And we're about to see it in a minute. But uh, how how long has this been in the making? We showed the concept car in January 2008. It was a three door coupe called the LRX. And it's all around the world, everyone told us, customers, dealers, and press, you've got to put this car into production, we have. And the coupe version is just so much fun on the original concept. Well, let's have a look at it. The coupe! like any uh, product because they want them to promote it and um, they have an association with a certain person or a brand so I think it's all about association and um, that's the same to me to be associated with them uh, Range Rover is, is great for myself and uh, vice versa so yeah it's, it's a win-win both ways. but sporty so I'm driving the sport at the moment and um, and then the Evoke will be in November so I just think yeah they just drive really well. For many people the Land Rover and Range Rover brand is all about the countryside, it's all about off-road capability, it's all about adventure and I think the Range Rover Evoke really illustrates where we're taking this brand. Like this car is as much at home in the city as it is outside of the city. It's got all the hallmarks of Range Rover, all the capability, all the refinement you'd expect. But it comes in a very small package, it comes in a very fuel efficient package as well as a quality package. And it's going to appeal to far more people than we've appealed to before. A younger audience, a more female oriented audience, and an audience that really enjoy parties like the one that we're at tonight. I'm getting one in November. I've got so many girlfriends that are saying, I won't say what they're saying, but they're jealous. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 you can drive it, you can drive it, you know, try it. Um, I'm very grateful. Yeah, I don't take it for granted at all because it literally has been a dream of mine to have a Range Rover. So I'm very, very grateful.